Hi and welcome back to BNN. DJ Pine, whose real name is Peter Chwani, is a very well-known DJ here in Kenya, renowned in his craft. In an interview, DJ Pine said that his career began at 18 in 1988. He became popular in the 90s and even had an amazing show called The Beat on NTV. It sadly came to an end in 2018, that is six years ago. Pine started his career in the UK where he learned how to mix by using tapes which were popular back then and he even got gigs in the uk thanks to prominent people's sound like the sons of the late moi kibaki from a president and the late michuki's son also not only is he a dj he's also a show producer he produced the beat and also a manager of sorts he introduced octo piso to us back then when the beat was the beat and has been managing other artists as well currently he is managing vijana Baru Baru, a dynamic duo that's doing amazing work in the entertainment or rather music industry here in Kenya. DJ Pinye was very strict on the kind of music that got airplay back in the early 2000s and I kid you not, if you grew up in that era, Kenyan music was buzzing. That was the Ogopa era, the Kapuka era, the Caliph era and we were on top guys. And back then, as an artist, there was no social media. So if your song got airplay on the beat, it was guaranteed to be a success and you'd get booked for shows. So most artists would try so hard to get their music played on the beat, but not everyone got the same airplay. However, DJ Pinye is loved and hated in equal measure. To the fans, he seems like this same person who made sure our music was quality and got airplay beyond our borders. But to the artists, he's something else. Uh, let's talk about also Maumbia Mama. Um, have you, your mom's prayers uh, for you come true? Yeah, they have. But you come back in a. No, not a, I didn't even want to bring this guy up. But Leonatina Kiongiatena. But you come back in a DJ Pinyini, what you're going to finish your chin, Mimi. And then they, 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 they killed our motivation back then. Not only me, but there are very many others who don't have this chance to sit down with you and talk to you but he killed a lot of dreams but for me madangu alikuwa anambia anga kali wachana na mambo ya dj pinye wewe ni mungu amekuleta hapa siku yako ikifika siku yako itafika and look at me now tuko hapa hivi i don't uh, i mean and what ni hiyo ni through her prayers because if it wasn't for that, then there's no way this would be happening. So that is Calligraph's opinion over DJ Pinye. And as you've heard, he was loved and hated in equal measure. And there are artists who've come out to call him out as a bully and a dream killer. Also, there were allegations of bias when it came to airplay. There were rumors that he was favoring the likes of Octo Pizzo, as he was the one who was managing him over people like Calligraph and other artists in the same genre of rap. So this video of Calligraph Jones is from two years ago, that is 2022, and recently on Facebook, a former artist by the name Sakute, popularly known for the song Manyake back in the early 2000s, revived this beef with DJ Pinye and he had quite a lot to say. So Sakut, Nonini back then were people who were known for their urban tone kind of music. He had a brief stunt in music before he decided to get saved and decided not to sing anymore this song manyake was a hit back in was it a hit it was a controversial song back in the early 2000s and as a result it was banned they however argued that the song was creative awareness on the importance of using protection fast forward to now he reignited his beef with dj pinye over airplay he had the beach and yet to before the beef started as a result of uk-based entertainment journalist john mosh moshiri posting something about the love-hate relationship of dj pinye according to him dj pinye he has worked with him and he said he's a professional and he did a good job with our music back then this is what he said 
I'll read the post in part. It's a very long post. I have post. spent my time reading comments on DJ Pinier. Too much bile from many artists and fans. Having worked in the same building with DJ Pinier at the Nation Center for over 10 years, I know that he trashed many videos for not meeting the quality he wanted. As far as I can remember, Pinier avoided meeting artists face to face. He used to come to the office at 6 a.m., collect the videos that have been dropped off by artists at the reception and left nation center by 7 a.m and head back to his house at valley arcade he went on to say i'm not speaking for him he can do so himself but what i can say is this kenyan video directors had to up their game over the years because dj pinye and other k at the stomp demanded for better quality videos so sakyush the artist i mentioned to you earlier replied brother don't make me write a novel on this wangwa makeri brother of ours crying laughing emoji you know him as a workmate but some of us know the ugly side of him Pinye wounded literally everyone in the Kenyan urban music industry that you can think of. Pinye trashed and insulted every Kenyan urban musician. He literally looked down on us, trashed our music and videos. Pinye told us that our faces were not meant for TV and other colorful insults. He went ahead to say, The short dude would literally tear your music audio apart piece by piece. With short man kachumbari flavors of insults, intimidation, belittling, Machusi Zandururumia Moja Ayani, by the time we reach the video, you are buried alive. And like he mentioned, it's a novel, his post was very long. He went ahead to mention the artists who've undergone the same cruelty and how others decided to quit music as a result of being bashed like that by him. He also mentioned one time he felt like the DJ did him dirty. He took his music and Alkwamangana Sana equal quality. Next thing he was told that it's not meeting the standard. And to his surprise, clips of his rejected video were being used to advertise the beat. And to summarize the novel, he went ahead to say that DJ Pinye is like a Nokia 3310 that is trying to be relevant in an era of iPhone 15. And he threw shade at him by saying that is what he's doing by trying to manage artists like Vijana Barubaru. And DJ Pinye's response to all this was, after all the hate going on on Facebook, so unfortunate. If I'm guilty for trying to raise the bar, then so be it. As he sang along to the song by Bridget Blue, Kesho Nam Ka Upia. And in conclusion, Sakit went ahead to squash the beef. He's done that so many times saying, oh, I forgive you, I forgive you a long time through Jesus Christ. And then goes ahead to bash him again. But as of three hours ago, he squashed the beef and says they should focus more on reconciliation and building the industry and that beef is meant to be eaten. There are people who argue the song Mzabibo has done well despite not having a quality video. Also, a number of artists have come out saying or rather complaining about DJ Pinier. Is there some truth to that? What do you guys think? Should we focus more on quality music to have to put at least our music out there because our music industry at the moment is not as big as it was back then do engage with us in the comment section if you liked this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more news catch you next time